Dr. Elizabeth Jaffe is one of cancer's biggest enemies. Her life's work revolves around engaging a patient's immune system in the fight against the disease. As an associate director of the Bloomberg Kimmel Institute for Cancer Immunotherapy, or the BKI, and as deputy director of the Kimmel Cancer Center at Johns Hopkins, Dr. Jaffe is always working to find new developments in immune-based therapies. That's what the BKI is set up to do. And the first step is to understand what immunotherapy is all about. It really is a form of precision or personalized medicine because each time we give a treatment, it's not acting in the same way it would in each patient. It's really acting on that patient's particular immune system. It's not so much that the immune system is unique, but it's how the immune system sees the cancer that's unique. And so there are different types of cells within the immune system that can infiltrate the cancer due to alert signals that the cancer sends out. So that's what immunotherapy is. It's providing agents that can help the patient's own immune system um, activate and recognize their cancer. I like to say that it's been a convergence. So the technological revolution has occurred that provides technologies that allows us to take a small piece of a patient's cancer and really understand it at the molecular level. This is what has allowed us now to develop new therapies that can target these cancers. So bringing together some of this uh, prior pioneering knowledge with these high, um, high throughput technologies allowed us to very quickly make progress in the past couple of years. The problem is we've made progress on the low-hanging fruit, okay? So it's cancers that had just one change in their tumor microenvironment that needed to be altered by these agents to allow the full potential of the immune system in to fight the cancer. Unfortunately, that only occurs in about 20% of all cancer types. What we're learning now is that the other 80% are going to require multiple immune agents that can alter multiple signals within their cancer before the full potential of the immune system can be engaged to recognize their cancer. And that's what the next step is. And that's what the BKI is poised to do. We're poised to analyze different cancers. It's gonna be a cancer defined by their genetics, by their epigenetics, by their inflammation, and by some of the other signals that are provided by normal cells within the organ. By defining those criteria, will be able to pick the best agents to treat a patient. Patients are part of the team. Patients are very educated these days. I have to say we have not had a problem in finding patients interested in these new therapies with these bad cancers. Let's face it, these are bad cancers and they're looking for some real hope. They're coming to us and saying, what more can you do for my cancer? We have advocates who work with our teams who help to educate patients. And I found that you know most of the patients really feel good about that and really want to be a part of the team. We do have to walk a fine line when we try to explain what we have available for a particular patient's cancer. It's not just a fine Line, but it's really balancing honesty. We have to be totally honest with the patient, but in a way that really provides hope. I think what patients are looking for is some hope. When you have a deadly cancer, that's what you want to know. You want to know that there's a team working with you that has some hope that maybe we can do this. We're not trying to sell them a bill of goods. We're trying to tell them we're working as hard as we can. We want to work with them. We want to do something good for them, and we're on their team. My vision for where immunotherapy is going is that a patient will come to us, will know a certain, about, a certain amount about their cancer before they get treatment because we'll have the first biopsy. We'll initiate treatment based on what we know, and then we may have to take some biopsies during treatment to see if we need to tweak the therapy to make it even more potent for that particular patient. That's where I see us taking what we've learned so far and moving it to really the next step, which isn't just a, a small step. This is a huge leap in our field.